Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview of how to play our Math Pup Truck Money County game. Uh, if you're not familiar with MathNook, we have uh, lots of free games to play, uh, math games, fun games, puzzle games, as well as teaching tools. Everything's free to use and play, and there's never any sign-up or membership required. Okay, I'm going to give a quick overview of this game, but let's first take a look at the menu. And uh, this is the menu you'll see when you first start the uh, game and if you click this button this will take you to the video you're watching now this question will take you to the instructions X will get you back out to the main menu the uh, this click this it'll take you to our website mathnook.com and this will get the game rolling we uh, actually take you to the second menu where you'll be able to choose to play uh, normal mode advanced mode which is a little bit harder and expert mode which is even harder still um, the only difference is um, normal advanced uh, the normal games the target amounts of coins you need to collect are a little bit uh, easier than the advanced and that's easier than the expert mode but the expert mode in addition to having larger amounts the terrain instead of being uh, a more uh, it has a little bit more hills dips and valleys so there's a chance more chance of your money falling out the back and uh, but whereas you play the normal advance, there's really not much of a uh, uh, risk of doing that. Let's go ahead and choose the normal mode. Now, when you first start the level, you'll be given a target amount. In this case, we have 26 cents. And uh, the object of the game, or I should say the object of each level, is to get the uh, target amount, which would be 26 cents, in the back of the truck and take it to your home, which is way over to the right. And I'll show you where that is in just a second. So the uh, coins you get, it you just, uh, as it says here, click a coin to drop it in the truck. And uh, this particular amount, you could get a quarter and one penny, or you could get two dimes, one nickel, and a penny. So let's go ahead and look at the controls. And to move the uh, truck, you would click on the accelerator button there. Let me go ahead and turn that off. And uh, I was talking had the sound on for a second. Uh, this button is a brake and reverse. The uh, arrow keys here, you probably don't need that in the uh, beginner to advanced level, only in the expert mode uh, is there a chance of uh, you have more hills and dips that you might, if you have coins stacked here and they might fly out, you need to kind of keep the, if you need to keep the truck level, you may need to hold the front end down with this button or the back end down with this button. The corresponding uh, keyboard uh, keys are, if you're going to use the arrow keys, the uh, accelerate is the up arrow, brake and reverse is a down arrow, the uh, pushing the back end down is the left arrow, pushing the fr uh, front end down is a right arrow, and then the uh, associate, if you want to use your left hand with the AWSD keys, the W key is forward, S key is back, brake. The A key is the back end down. The uh, D key is the front end down. So let's go ahead and I'll, uh, okay, wait, just a second. I forgot. I've got to uh, show you what these keys are. These buttons do, I should say. This will take you to the main menu. This will restart the level. And I can go ahead and do that now. And you're going to see that, well, if I drop coins in the back. If I go ahead and have that coin back there, if I restart the level, it starts all over again. I have a new target amount. The um, This is nice, and I'll show you what this does. This, this magnifies what you have in the back. Because on mobile devices or smaller displays, these coins might be harder to see, especially when they get in the truck, and this will um, magnify that. And I'll show you what that is, what it looks like in just a minute. This button here, I click it, it, tell, it identifies the uh, coins to help you a little bit, in case you forget. And you can keep clicking that, and there's no penalty on that. It eventually will just uh, fade away after a few seconds. So let's go ahead and, and try to complete this level. And I'm going to go ahead and um, collect 25, 35, 30 cents. I'm sorry, that's what the target says. And it's okay if you pass one up. Like I pass that quarter up, I'm just going to back up and click it. Let's see. Oh yeah, it made it in there. And there's a nickel. And I'll show you what the 
this uh, magnifying glass does. In case you can't see that too well, you just click on that. You can see that I have a quarter, nickel, and it's 30 cents. And just you can click it, click or tap anywhere on the screen, and uh, it'll be back to uh, regular mode. Let's go ahead and take this on home. We know I have the 30 cents, so I'm just going to drive it over here, and it'll automatically stop you at the very end. And should be coming to the end now. It slows down and stops, and it's going to count how many coins are in there. 30 cents says I've completed one level in a row. Best so far is one level in a row. If I complete another level, then it'll say I've completed two levels in a row, and best so far is two levels in a row. And then if I hit, um, if I mess up, get the wrong amount or something, it'll go back to uh, completing one level in a row with the your record would be two. Because that's how many you, you that was your record that you'd uh, the most you've got in a row. So go ahead, let's go ahead and uh, show you what happens when you get the wrong amount. And I'll just load this up, and I'll show you how uh, you might want to use these buttons here if you get too many coins in there. Sometimes you get too many coins right like that. Now, if I hit a bump, if I'm going too fast and hit a bump, this might fly out. So a lot of times I'll just jiggle it and kind of get the coin settled in. And that way that dime isn't sitting so high and there's less of a chance of flying out if I go too fast. Let's go ahead and drive to the very end. I've got, uh, let's go ahead and magnify that. About 25, 50, 60, 65, 70, 80, 85, 86 cents. So that's way over the target amount. But we'll just go ahead and go to the end. Uh, so you can see what happens when you um, get the wrong amount. And we're here. Should be 86 cents if I counted right. And it says you collected. Just try again because I collected 86 cents and the target was 22 cents. Now, um, one thing I'd like to say is that if you come in here too fast, sometimes the coins can fly out. If you go in really fast, if they fall out and land on the ground, they'll disappear. But if they're in the, this basket, those are the ones that are counted in your total. You've got to be careful about that. So that's how you play the game. I hope you enjoy playing. I hope the videos uh, help some. And thanks for watching.